trying to rescue my rescue my ride, because you know. Don't mess with a man's ride. Collect explosive gel from the Batmobile. Actually might have already done this before. Just <laughs> end up having to stop the video at a weird time last time. Okay. So this crime scene area. Oh, here we go. Okay. I hope you're not epileptic. <laughs> this this isn't gonna cause epileptic uh, fits, is it, folks? I don't I don't know. I'm not well versed on what triggers that stuff. So I apologize in advance for that. I wasn't expecting that. I'll put a disclaimer on the video if I remember at the time I put this up. Uh, so sorry in advance for that. Where am I going now? I guess I'm supposed to be following a trail. No, wait, wait, wait. Well, not that. Hmm. Thank you! Guess I can't go in there. Because I think I accidentally bumped into the <laughs> bumped into the security gate. Here we go. So we do have a trail. Yes, this is the part about Arkham City, Arkham Asylum that everyone loves. Looking for another entrance. Well, where can I go from here, actually? Can we get creative here? I'm going to have to cut a bunch of stuff in the video if I end up spending another five minutes doing this, so... <laughs> Fair warning. If I need to get back on Gordon's trail, how do I do it? Because I can't climb up there. Yep, cannot grapple up there for some reason. Don't get me started. Get good, noob. Well, just trying to figure out what the developers want me to know. Can't go up there. So let's go up here. Actually. Fine. Go back the other way, then. Can't go that way. See, that's already been established. So why do I need to do this again? I know I can't get through this door. See, I know I can't get through this door. So what does he want me to do? Well, let's go up there. It's probably just a bad, uh, it's probably just a bad, you know, conversation trigger or something. I've already established that. Ooh, interview tape. Huh, I guess it stopped. That's okay. I guess I thought I was supposed to play through the whole time. In the background. Let's get creative. I can't grapple up here. It's gonna be one of those videos, huh? Yeah, if I had chat, this would be screaming at me that I'm going in the wrong direction or something, but... I don't do streaming. At least live streaming. I've already est okay. Oh, I found that. Okay, boo! Stupid Aaron Cash. So I want to know is how do I get through the door? Because I can't go up there. Oh. Oh, this one. Okay. I feel slightly stupid. Yeah. So I'll probably, I'll probably end up cutting two or th I'll probably end up cutting a couple of minutes out of this video anyway. The part where I had to retrace my steps. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was in detective mode the whole time. That's why everything was in grayscale. I thought Zaz was in, um... 
Arkham City. <laughs> oh well. I do have that game, yes, but I have it on PC. It came. It, obviously, this is the Return to Arkham set that came from the Carroll County Public Library of Maryland, which is the only reason why I'm playing this game right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> Can I punch these guys? Yes, I can. Guess no one saw me coming. Huh? He's lost in his work. Next. So that's the back of trail. Let's go down to Backo Road. Is that going to be the name of this video? Yeah, there it is. Did that say 118%? Yeah, it's 1.14% oh, nicotine. <laughs> that was at 114%. Of, it's actually not right. In several ways, it's not right, but we're fine. It's nicotine and tobacco. That's right, kids. Commissioner Gordon smokes. But not Batman. I guess I should have taken him down. I wasn't paying attention to the flavor text. Hey, what? Okay, I whiffed on that punch. That's a problem. Ow. Not perfect, but I'm able to make it work. Okay, I can do this. So the good news is I homed in on the guy furthest away from the group. So that takedown worked perfectly. He's down. Two more. Okay, got it. Thought I whiffed there for a second. <laughs> and let's load new assets. We'll be fine. So I guess that's the end of the open area of this game. Well, at least until I have to retrace my steps back here. I guess it's like a hub area. Oh, sorry. Three you wanted to see Harley. Yeah. That's gonna set a few people off. Yeah, it is Arlene Sorkin, right? No, no relation to Aaron Sorkin. Of course, when he does get mad. <laughs> Thanks for making me sit through all that. Uh, yeah. So the whole purpose of this scenario was to force me to go back where I was. I, I don't design games. I just I could try to be constructive about this, but it would be it would basically involve me just sitting through a cutscene or something instead of having to walk through that again. You know, I just, I just don't understand some decisions. I just don't understand. Like, part of me just says, if you're going to make me walk to a place, then walk back, then why not just, you know, make it a cutscene so I can skip it? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, I mean, but this, is, this isn't the problem that I have with the game. I mean, the problems be become an issue, I think, about another an hour or so into this game. In fact, once I get to the Killer Croc level, then you'll definitely see what I have problems with. Because it's a pacing thing. You know, that combat sequence was okay, but now I'm waiting to get to the next Predator mission. It'll happen eventually, it's just, you know. So I remember the first time I played this game, I remember making it to uh, the second Scarecrow level. See, so that's a structural weakness. I won't be able to break open until I can get another upgrade. So that's the Metroidvania part of this game. It's like, yeah, you can make progress, but there are, there are secrets you can't unlock until you get certain gadgets that unlock other areas of the game because you know parts of the game are gated by gadgets you don't have okay here we go can i grapple that no i don't have the back claw yeah i need i need a back claw to bring that down and i don't have the back claw yet sorry guys i ended up giving you 10 minutes of this but that's unfortunate we'll cut some stuff 
But it does give you an idea for the pacing. I'm open to ideas here, kid. I probably can't even go this way anyway. Because I'm not even supposed to be here. So I have to go back to the medical facility, okay, so. I guess I wasn't even supposed to be here in the first place. Gosh darn it. Sowie. Made you sit through that. So we're gonna go left. Again, there are no waypoints in this game if there are in Arkham City. So, because in Arkham City you can create a waypoint on the map, then it'll show up on your HUD. So you'll, be able to, so you'll know you're going in the right direction, but not in this game. So, structural weakness. Yep. Thanks for the tooltips. See, at least the game's telling me that much. <laughs> I, don't know if this part, I don't know if this was in the original game, though, I'll be honest. All I know is that the game's actually telling me this now. People actually complain about this. People say stuff like... Wait. Went the wrong way. Ah, uh, wild country. <laughs> Not flavor country, but wild country. Okay, so I gotta go back out. So the game's like, okay, the complaint, what's the complaint? The complaint was, in the old days, you would get lost and you would die. Nowadays, the game actually has on-screen prompts telling you what to do to avoid dying. <laughs> Which I get, I get the joke, but sometimes, you know, games are just aren't very helpful. Like, they're not helpful when they need to be. They're helpful in areas, in other words, the game has to explain things that the designers didn't want to make obvious, you know what I mean? Like, in other words, instead of making the discovery worthy of your time, they say, okay, just do this in case you don't want, you don't want to do this crap anymore. Some of the stuff I just wish were optional. Like, you know, make it like a, make it like a, like a hidden area, like with some reward. In a game like this, I guess the rewards would be like, what, more unlockable Riddler Challenge arenas or something? Stuff like that, I guess. But in a game this linear, I mean, it's like in Metroid. I mean, Metroid wasn't linear. The secrets were there so you could, you know, get extra missiles. And those helped you because they, make it, they made it easier for you to fight Mother Brand at the end. But even if you didn't need them, it was like, I think he said you said need like 35 missiles to beat Mother Brand, something like that. I guess the logic was, if you want to find more, you can. And it's good if you can get them because, you know, it makes the final battle easier. You don't have to keep, you know, regenerating missiles because you run out. Okay, it's a structural weakness, right? Well, can't go down there. It's dangerous. But it's probably on the other side. First of all, I'm in detective mode. Did I already mention that? Oops. Wait, wait, it's a Riddler trophy over there. Ooh, can I get that? Wait, I didn't grab it? That was weird. So I guess I didn't grab it. Let's get creative. I can't grapple up there? I mean, I saw that Riddler trophy, so I'm assuming I can grab it if I can get to a high enough point. I may have to circle back around to that area. I mean, it can be. Maybe I need. To, maybe I need the back claw for that. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. So what do I break? Give me something to break. See, I was worried there was gonna be five minutes of this. Maybe another ten. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that? Right there. Got it. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut a bunch of stuff in this video. 
so much downtime. So for those of you keeping track, yeah, I spent a lot of time looking for stuff. But not a lot of time actually doing anything that was really all that, you know, sophisticated. <laughs> you know. I mean, this isn't Civ, this isn't Civ 4. <laughs> Here we go. I can grab that. I can rip that off in a second. Can I get up there? Probably not yet. He has another. He has another vent over there. So eventually, I'll make my way over to that vent and get that Riddler trophy in that cage. But in the meantime, yeah, Superman. Yeah, Superman. Anyway, well, it's not. You know, it's not that strong. <laughs> you see, he keeps doing it. It's very aggressive. Uh, hmm. Nah. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the side path? Might be the side path. There it is, yep. I made the right, I made the correct turn after all. So what am I gonna get? Like a, a character character lore? Okay, what did I get for that? Well maybe it was just another trophy. It wasn't anything special attached to it. Wait, did I already come this way? No, I didn't. Here's the predator mission. Okay. This will work out after all. Well, that thought, that one's out in the open. So I'll go for him first. I forgot to do the inverted takedown. Gosh darn it. Okay, I can't do that. Can I do the inverted takedown on that guy? No, I can't. There's two of them. No, way. That guy. Get that guy. I can't, I can't target him. There we go. Guess I was too close to him. Did he say Batman? Can you hear me? <laughs> nope, because he saw me. Must be moving quickly. Okay. okay, so I lost him by mashing on the LB button. Or the RB button, excuse me. Come up with new ideas. Can I get that guy? Nah, there's three of them. Just a second. Yeah, I'll wait till they split up. I might be able to take two of them on, but not three. At least I don't want to test myself in that way. I think he's moving away. He's underneath something, that's the problem. Can I get the other guy? Let me see if I can get both of those guys. Got him. Whoop, bad move, bad move. Okay, this is not good. I can't escape from here. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, that was not good. That's alright, I got this. It's just I got cocky, as usual. Basically, I should just grapple that. I should just glide. I just used the glide kick on one of them, and then you know, immediately took down the other guy. But then I got caught up in that room. That was a bad idea. Cause I didn't need to bomb my way out of it. That one. Whoop! See, I can't escape. I couldn't do the I couldn't do the ground and pound on him. That's bad. That's bad. See, I'm already in trouble. Okay, he lost track of me. Eventually. That one. Nice. Too close. Okay, now I can get him. Yeah, I'm good now. Now I got him. 
They see me. Not anymore. Okay, he lost me. Okay, who's next? That guy on the floor? That guy on the door in it, I like I lost him. Yeah, I lost him. <laughs> Didn't want to get stuck in the geometry there, huh? Okay, there's one more guy right there. Thought there was a guy alone. Got him. I guess they're not going to shoot the hostage. Of course he lost them. Okay, they're all three of them together, so I need them to split up. I could take the vents, but I don't see any other vents around here. Because all the other ones are up there. Those vents behind the gargoyles. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I can't get underneath. Yeah, guys, I'm going to crawl underneath the floor. Can I take on those two guys? No, might not be worth it. It won't be worth it. Can I sneak up on that guy? I can't tell. I think they're too close. Let me get over there. And they didn't see me. Wow. They did not see me. Got him. Oh, that, no, I didn't. Okay, one more bullet's gonna take me down. Yep, see? I'm kinda getting cocky here. Okay, I guess the sound effects are slightly off there. <laughs> yeah, she was supposed to blow me the kiss, and that was kinda slightly off, but anyway. Get that guy first. Down. Okay, they're gonna come in groups of two, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so who's gonna join them? That guy and that guy, but not that guy. Okay, that guy's by himself. Okay, that one's down. Two more to go. Can I get the guy behind him? I'll try it. I have, I have to get him out in a flat area. I don't want to get stuck in the geometry here. Just a second. I have to, I have to separate myself from these guys. Yeah, right here. Get the other guy. Got him. Down he goes. And this guy, let's punch him in the face. See, that was easy. I just, I, was just, I did a lot of really stupid stuff in that other one. Really stupid stuff. <sighs> it's not that hard if you just don't get over, you don't get over aggressive, I guess. At least you get aggressive at the right moments, I guess. I mean, you saw that. I was able to take on two guys at once. I see to separate them from everyone else and not get stuck in the geometry. Like those stupid glide kicks. Getting interrupted by a wall or something. Over here. What are you shouting for? I'm right here. Is that Tara Strong? Here. Yeah. I'm here, Mike. Never mind. Batman. Uh, where am I going? Oh. Oh. I don't know that area. Well. Oh. Oh. This got more interesting. So I have to go back the way I came. That direction, I think. There's a door out there, right? Yep. Oh, there's a vent over there on the floor I didn't. I could have opened. Oh well, I didn't need to do that. Okay, 
sure there'd be some uh, chattering teeth around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. There we go. Yup, they saw me. It's pre-scripted. He's down. And he's down. And you. Yeah. We good? Oh, he's, she's probably going to be in here. Uh, here somewhere? Wait, what? Because I was supposed to sneak up on her. Was there something that was supposed to trigger? <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to trigger... I think, yeah, I... Right. I forgot that part of the game. Oh, that. So the game specifically says, blow him up with explosives, right? Okay, so where's the explosive supposed to go? Here. Okay, I see what's going on. So it's a pre-scripted event. Yeah, so the game's like, okay, you must do it this way. Okay, fine. So much, well, the Predator missions are about creativity, but not these missions. There's one on the other side, right? Okay, they can't see me through the door. So I guess I must have walked in there accidentally last time. No, they can see me from there. Just a second. So where's the other uh, structural weakness supposed to be? Okay, next area. Huh. So where's it supposed to be? On the other side? Hmm. Maybe I didn't do this part yet. See, I guess I didn't do this part yet. Because I can do three of these, but I only need the two that I've already made. You guys, one here and one on the other side, so... Let's do it. Yeah, that. Don't worry, she's not dead. Next. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. I've been studying. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. Don't worry, Doctor. I rescued you first, and now I'll search the other rooms. You wait here. It's dangerous out there. So what would he have said if he rescued her second? <laughs> or maybe last. That's been established. So I have to walk back the way I came, right? Pretty much. Yep, got to walk back the way I came. So the other two. So I got to make a... So when I get to the door, I'll make a right. Wait. There are things in there, aren't there? Yeah, see? Uh, battering. Pressing up on the D-pad. So I guess I'm going the right way. Okay. So where's the door? Oh, if I can upgrade, I can upgrade. Hmm. 
So this door, make a right. Okay. So I can upgrade if I need to, but I'll probably save it for later. Although I do want that, uh, what you call it, that inverted takedown eventually. That's going to save me some trouble on some of those Predator missions. Yeah, I can do that. Do I already, ha I already have that? So I guess I have to hang from it first and then do the inverted takedown? Okay. Because I wasn't paying attention. Map. Okay, so we're going this way. Okay. No rock me on the dash, dude. Yep, someone's here. They're up there. I'm open to ideas. Yeah, see? Prescripted. I had detective mode on. I saw they were coming. Oh. I thought I could skip this. Yes, I can. So he was smart enough to tell the other guys to shoot the hostage, but he doesn't tell them to do anything now with this hostage. And I'm sure that makes sense. These guys are trying to pick something up. Okay, he's down. Nope, not yet. Okay, I got him. And well, I jumped away from him, so it all worked out. He's down. He's down. And you. Down. Pretty weird. He threw he thrust his foot out like that. That was kind of interesting, but anyway. Can I skip this? Yeah, you're safe now. Bye. Okay, let's finish this up. Uh, so we're going down. We're just gonna stay straight. I'm not gonna make any turns. The game gives us the, the game gives us any options to turn. We won't. Yeah. So that's how you load a new area. You go through a door. Well, wait, wait, just a second. Why are these things here again? Just for experience. Maison scene. There we go. I think I have unlimited battle ranks. I'll see. I'll check with the speed runners to see if they know why those things are there. They're probably just there for experience. They're quick, I guess they're a quick and dirty way to upgrade your character without having to fight anything. Uh huh. Sit. Next. And Batman doesn't use the weapon. He uses, he uses it against the guy who drew it on him, but he doesn't pick it up and use it against anyone else. So I think it's kind of amusing. But yeah. I, mean, I can understand why he doesn't use guns, but I mean, why wouldn't he use... I guess you can't use the silent takedown. <laughs> Just a regular takedown. And the guy was sitting right next to him, so I guess I couldn't do the silent takedown. There we are. So I have to go in here. Yep. Lots of events. I mean, I'm sure at some point the developer said, you know what, let's just do this because it's an easy way to get through the game. It's sort of an easy way to, you know, to slink around, use stealth to get around. Wait, did I, did I forget to save those guys? I never got to save those guys. No, oh, this is the area. This is the area I have to go. I'm not supposed to hit the ground, though. I can't hit the ground. So, uh, let's get creative here. So this part of the game was sort of open-worldy, but not by much. 
Oh, I have to use detective mode, huh? Oh, the fans, the fans, the fans. Nope, there's a... Yeah, there's a... Something I'm supposed to hit. If I recall correctly. I'm not supposed to... Wait, was I supposed to do that? I think that guy's dead. Yeah, I can't let the man die. Gee, bad man, would you have an attack of conscience? <laughs> well, yeah, you won't let him die, I'll just knock him out. I understand. Uh, he's not gonna die if I, if I take my sweet time, is he? Okay, so where am I supposed to go from here? Use the remote control battering, maybe? Yeah, remote control battering. Wait, what am I aiming for? <laughs> That's probably don't understand. That thing in the back, maybe? Just a second. There might be another fan, though. Just a second. You know, some kind of orange thing. There might just be a fan. So now I can use remote control battering. And, okay, it was on a cooldown. Okay, where am I aiming again? Well, let me circle around. It's probably another, uh... Yeah, I can't go any higher. So where's the... Where's the switch that controls those green wires? Well, let's investigate this way. Nope, I can't aim this blasted thing. Just a second. Let me, let me blow those things up. Yeah, that's the experience. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. There. See? Didn't need the remote control battery. Although I think I unlocked that myself when I upgraded it. So it wasn't. So I wasn't supposed to be able to get this. I wasn't supposed to be able to have the remote control battery, I don't think. It probably just makes it easier. But I can get closer to the ground now, so let's do this. There we go. Alright, so what else do I need to hit? Another button around here? I already got that one, right? That man's gonna die, by the way, so... Just saying. There it is, right there. So maybe I have to shoot the remote control battering around a little bit. How do I make a 90 degree turn? <laughs> Actually, it's probably just easier for me to just go up there and do it. Well, actually, there aren't any places for me to stand and do it. So that's why those uh, chattering teeth are there, to point me in the right direction, I suppose. Can I go up there? Yeah, I can't make it up there. But, I can probably get back up there, right? Yeah, let me get back over there. I mean, I can glide over to the other side. Just a second. But I, I, can, I can reach that corner more easily from here. Yeah, that stupid thing's over there. Okay, I'll just use a remote control battery. It's going to be a tight fit, but let's see if I can fit it. Up, over, let's see, it's, it's a tight fit. Where is it? Can't use it yet. Yeah, it's a tight fit. Alright. I should still be able to reach it. Okay, now it's recharged. Ah, there it is. I can hit it. I can hit it in the morning. And the evening. Just need to make sure it recharges. <laughs> Alright, let's try one more time. Get good. Darn it! I took a wrong... The, the inverted controls are kind of tripping me up. Let me try something here. Yeah, let's try that. 
invert the flight, see what happens. So I'll recharge it. So how about those Vikings, huh? <laughs> they don't suck as much as they usually do this time of year. Uh, that, 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 darn, I went the wrong way. Can I throw it that way, maybe? Let me wait till I can... I can get it. I just need to make sure I'm aiming in the right direction. Because it's kind of hard to turn. There we go. Ah, darn it! You have to cut a bunch of stuff in these videos. I'm going to have an hour-long video with just like four fights and one Predator mission. <laughs> and a bunch of this. You're starting to see the problem with this game, right? Well, maybe it's not a problem. I mean, it's just... I mean, it's fine. It's just... It's a lot of stuff like this. Got it. Get good. Okay, I'm good. But, there's one more. And it's over there, I bet. Just a second, yeah. That stupid shattering teeth. Okay, can I get over here? Escape! Yeah, I'm not dead. I'm Batman. Uh, that one? Or did I already do that one? You already did that one. So it's probably over there. Actually, just a second. Can I glide over there? Yeah, I should be able to glide over there. Or at least hop over there. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, um... There is a control device over there in the corner, it looks like. Yeah, there it is. Down there. Boom. Gotcha. Outstanding. Okay, so is that dude dead? That dude who I dropped in because I threw the battering at him? He's got to be dead by now. He's been there for 20 minutes in that noxious gas. Yay, I unlocked the lore. I unlocked NPC bios. Yay. Maybe he's important to the comic book or something. I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Cold cash. Yeah. Thanks for the sour persimmons. Interview tape. Facts. Attributes. Okay, so it's still playing now, even though I exited the video. Or exited the menu. Cat! Sorry. So I gotta retrace my steps. So I'll probably be able to finish this video with one more visit to the main area. Yeah. No. No, no, no. <sighs> I just have to cut all this stuff out from the video, too. Wait, where are those shattering teeth coming from? There. There we go. Let's cut a lot more stuff, I'm afraid.
Yep, so we'll make the right when we get to the fork in the road. Okay. That was a big fat waste of time. <laughs> I guess, well, that's, was that supposed to fill time by making some kind of commentary? Yeah, um... I'll get back to playing Arkham Knight eventually. I mean, I got to the... I got Spoiler alert. Uh, there's a part where you're walking around with Commissioner Gordon. And I kind of got stuck. I decided not to go back to it. I'll probably come back to it a bit later, but... No real incentive for me to keep playing the game right now. Arkham City is a game, yeah, I'm probably going to play that one sooner rather than later. That's on PC, and it's getting, it's getting to that time of year where it's, it's, really, where it's really permanently cold here in the D.C. area, so it's probably going to behoove me to uh, break out the uh, heater that I call a gaming PC. But it's, I think I'm starting to reach the limits of what games I'm going to be able to, what new games I'm going to be able to play on that thing. I mean, I mean, Arkham Knight never ran well on PC, really. But unless you had like like five hundred dollars worth of hardware, it's like crisis or something. Yeah, yeah, skip. But yeah, Arkham Knight at least at least Arkham Knight runs better than Just Cause Three, and I guess that's saying something. Okay, are they split? Okay, they're split. So I can take out the first dude. Get him on the ground. And then get up there to where the gargoyles are. See ya. Not me. The dead guy. I can take on both of those guys, right? Hang. Can't use the inverted takedown. That's unfortunate. Spread out, huh? Yeah, split up into individual units so I can take you all out without fear of retaliation. Yeah, there he goes. So I'll take out the t guy on top first. Well, let me make sure he gets out the way. You yeah, see? I'll take out his friend. Okay, that was... Whoops, that was a bit bizarre. So the guy got stuck on the uh, something or rather. I can glide kick him just a second. Over here. Got him. All right, problem solved. If there's a pacifist run, I don't know what it is. Maybe interesting to know if one one could possibly exist, but probably not in this game. There we go. So what was this, oh yeah, the major complaint with the game's sequel was that, I, what was, what was that complaint? It was that the game was unfocused. It was that you could get lost, you can wander around and you know, you had, and I guess my problem with that is that the reason I preferred Arkham City to this game is that basically it's the same game, except it's an open world game, so you can do things on, at your own pace. So the game wasn't forcing you to do one specific thing and then, tell, and then just kind of making you go in circles until you can finally find the way to the next objective, like in this game. Wait a minute. Oh, I got supposed to go here. The game was about doing whatever you want to do, and then eventually if you want to go into a story-based mission, then you could, you know, go to the waypoint and start the mission. Usually it meant going into a building. But when I get back to reviewing uh, Arkham City, you'll see what I'm talking about. Basically, what do I want to do and when do I want to do it? Well, in this game, you don't have a choice. In Arkham City, you do, so I prefer that method. But at that point, it basically goes down to, it basically comes down to, well, how are the boss fights and how are the puzzles inside those mini, you know, Arkham Asylum-like areas? Which is basically what Arkham City is. It's an open world with a few cordoned off areas which serve as story-based objectives. They're going to attack my hat off to Harley, but that's okay anyway. 
can go there, and I can burst through this, right? Just a second. There, explosive gel. Had to press left on the D-pad for that. Okay, so how we doing? Hmm. Loading assets, I guess. Maybe that was Killer Croc? Well. Okay. Okay. So no um, pre-rendered cutscene here. Just, you know, the usual slink-a-dink through the vents. And we'll have to do this a few more times. Yeah. I haven't been keeping count. So if, you're be if you've been keeping count, I think we've done this about 50 times already. Because, you know, you got to load, you got to load assets. From area to area, so that's one way to do it. I guess there's one way to prefetch assets, you know what I mean? Sling through corridors. And they serve a story based purpose. Dude, what's happened to his eyes? <laughs> He's not dead. Oh, okay. It's this scene. I think. I'm trying to remember what scene it is. Yeah, this scene. Can't skip this. Yeah, uh, it's probably gonna be one of those cutscenes. I'm probably gonna have to cut the rest of this from the video because I don't do cutscenes. I'll just make it part of my conversation about this game. Yeah, this scene. Yeah, spoiler alert, Commissioner Gorn's not dead. Like Superman in Dawn of Justice. Or in the death of Superman, actually. I guess the tobacco didn't kill him. But where are we going, exactly? Yeah. Be going to anything inside this room. <laughs> it's all very amusing, but you know, I'm trying to. Okay, maybe I should try and get out of here. What do you think? Auto automatic save, you know what that means. Something's about to go down. Yeah. Is this his mother? Put him in a body bag. No, Martha. <laughs> Why did you say that name? And okay, so I guess it wasn't a uh, Dick Grayson. <laughs> I guess we'll call that a scare. Oh, wait. Ah, yeah, 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 this part. Okay. So, uh, we'll call this, uh, to be continued. How about that? That makes perfect sense. 